गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल वेलकम टू माई नेक्स्ट आई जी टी वी वीडियो द टूडे टॉपिक ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज ओडेंटोजेनिक कैरेटोसिस्ट बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग टू द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू थैंक्स टू यू ऑल फॉर फाइव हंड्रेड फॉलोअर्स ऑन माई चैनल लव इंडस्ट्री दिस बिकेम पॉसिबल बिकॉज ऑफ यू गाइज सो थैंक यू वेरी मच नाउ कंसनट्रेटिंग ऑन द टॉपिक ओडेंटोजेनिक कैरेटोसिस्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स वी हैव अ स्मॉल टॉक ऑन ऑडोनोजेनिक सिस्ट एंड इट्स क्लासिफिकेशन ऑडोनोजेनिक सिस्ट इज दैट सिस्ट दैट इज फॉर्म बाय द टूथ फॉर्मिंग स्ट्रक्चर्स लाइक ए जी आर एस डेंटेलामाइना एंड रिड्यूस्ड एनामल एपिथीलियम क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ ऑडोनोजेनिक सिस्ट इज क्लासिफाइड इन टू टू टाइप्स इन्फ्लमेटरी एंड डेवलपमेंटल इन्फ्लमेंटल वी हैव इन इन्फ्लमेटरी वी हैव रेडिकुलर सिस्ट ऑफ पेरी अबाइकल सिस्ट और अबाइकल पेरियोडोंटल सिस्ट इन्फ्लमेटरी कोलेक्ट्रल सिस्ट parallel cyst buccal bifurcation cyst residual cyst and lateral radicular cyst in developmental we have the most common and important follicular or dentigerous cyst the second most common odontogenic keratocyst, cyst the lateral periodontal cyst gingival cyst eruption cyst and many more now let's study and discuss the most important odontogenic keratocyst the odontogenic keratocyst is the second most common developmental odontogenic cyst in dental clinics hospitals and dental offices most of the cases in developmental odontogenic cyst are from our okc and dentigerous cyst in dental office we mostly seen these type of cyst developmental form of odontogenic cyst so this point is clear that okc is among the most common developmental odontogenic cyst this term is first used in the year 1956 in 2005 world health organization classification it is regarded as tumor and named as keratocystic odontogenic tumor but in 2017 the world health organization classification it is reclassified under cyst so it's a cyst not a tumor it's a cyst not a tumor it's a cyst not a tumor one more time it's a cyst not a tumor so okc is a cyst odontogenic keratocyst is reclassified under cyst according to who classification 2017 okay so basically okc has aggressive nature this is aggressive type of cyst as well as dentigerous dentigerous is also aggressive type of cyst because of this aggressive nature only in 2005 it is regarded as a tumor and it also follows wickens golden criteria it can also transform into um amyloblastoma squamous cell carcinoma and many more by this reason only by this of aggressive nature it is regarded in 2005 as a tumor so this is a main clinical feature of this okc if we talk about the clinical features of okc okc is most frequent in the mandible part in mandible part it has a four variants the ramus the third molar area the second and first molar area and the anterior part of the mandible these are the four variants of odontogenic keratocyst odontogenic keratocyst mostly frequent in men it can occur in any age it can occur in any age from uh, young to old but in most of the cases in most of the cases it basically occurs in the second to fourth decades of life so these are some of the important points that we have to remember in our clinical practices regarding our neat amd preparation and on university exams also okc is very important for dental students third year dental students in the oral and maxillofacial pathology so regarding histological feature the histological feature it is paracaratinization is in nature stratified squamous epithelium with paracaratinization and keratin deposit around the epithelium this is the main histological feature of okc the syndromes associated with okc is nevoid basal cell carcinoma syndrome and garner's syndrome 
Yes, my friends. Ne avoid basal cell carcinoma and Gardner syndrome. This we have to remember. It can ask in our dental PG examinations. And we have to prepare for that. We have to prepare for that. So, so this are, these are all about syndromes. Now about the treatment. Basically, uh, treatment or occurrences, if we talk about that, the OKC, which is associated with nevoid basal cell carcinoma, is have a more occurrence as we compare to the uh, as we compare to a simple OKC with uh, non-association of uh, nevoid basal cell carcinoma. Um, surgical excision is uh, is the main only treatment of OKC, but we have to um, we have to remember some procedures also, some some precautions regarding this. So uh, this video is purely based upon the mean summary of odontogenic keratocyst. The points we have learned is it is the second most common developmental odontogenic cyst. It is according to 2005 classification, it is a tumor named as keratocystic odontogenic tumor. According to 2017 classification, it is called as cyst. So according to the latest classification, it is cyst. It is, it mainly, it is mainly frequent in third uh, mandible, third molar area, ramus, second first molar area and anterior part of the mandible. It can occur in any age, most frequent in men rather than women. And uh, it is paracoretinized in nature. And uh, the stratified squamous epithelium with keratin deposit around the epithelium is the main feature of this cyst. This cyst is aggressive in nature. So these are some points that we have to remember while learning and uh, while studying odontogenic keratocyst. So, uh, odontogenic, uh, so I hear and this video, hope uh, you like my video. There, this is a short video regarding summary of OKC. Uh, for more such videos and dental quizzes, uh, presentation on dental topics, please follow Love Dentistry. So I end this video. Thank you very much. Stay passionate for dentistry. Stay passionate for dental education. Thank you.